Now we're going to look at backing up your Proloquo to go. So if you go down to the bottom right to settings, you can go to backup. There's a few different options. You can copy to Dropbox or to your Google Drive. One way that I really like to back up is just through email. Um, I find that that's something that pretty much everybody has. Not everyone has a Dropbox account. Um, so if you want to do some editing remotely and then share it to a client or student, or you just want to have it backed up just in case, I really like doing it through email. So I would say export backup. Then I'm going to pick my most recent one here at the top to export. I'm going to say share, so that will give me the email option. And now I have created um, just a work account, an AAC account, where I back up all my student files um, so that I can sign into this email on all my student devices, and it's not my personal email. Um, and that's where I can back up all the files so it can always be accessed on our school devices or student devices. So I'll just name it, my client's initials, and then maybe put the date. And I can send it right in email. If someone has sent me a backup from another device, or say I'm on my student's device now and I want to pull up what I had emailed, I'll just go into my email app, which I've signed into with that AAC email address. I'll select that file tap it and then I have options and over here I can copy to Proloquo. So I could replace with whatever updates were done, restore now, make sure I'm correct, get the correct user, and there we go, all backed up.